After attending the Byron Bay Blues Fest, we're still here in beautiful Byron Bay, Australia, but we're changing locations. Tonight, we'll be staying at Byron Holiday Park. This is our second experience with Big Four Holiday Parks, which have a reputation for being the finest places to caravan in Australia. As soon as we entered the gate, we could tell that we were in a special place with manicured landscaping and beautiful facilities. Of course, the big draw here in Byron Bay is the beach, and this Big Four Park has direct access. A beautiful five-minute walk across manicured lawns and paths along a peaceful inlet will take you out to the dunes and onto the beach. The views are fantastic, and the sand and surf are just perfect. We're not sure if it's always this deserted, but we practically had the place to ourselves. What a great place to relax after the excitement of the Blues Fest. Like the other Big Four Park we stayed at, there are not only tent camping and caravan sites, but cabins and villas for rent for anyone who wants to visit without bringing a tent or camper along. You've probably heard us mention that camp kitchens are commonplace at caravan parks in Australia. And here, they have not just one kitchen, but two. Gerald, the park's manager, showed us just one of the beautiful new additions to the park as they undergo major renovations and upgrades. Okay, so we're, we're in our new um, amenity block for caravanners and uh, tenters. Instead of having a separate shower and toilet, what we have done is we've combined the shower and toilet into one cubicle, which is floor to ceiling privacy. So there's no more toilet one side and shower the other. You go into a private ensuite and it's yours. You close the door like it would be a bathroom in your own home. Of course, there's also a beautiful pool and patio, which you'd expect in a high-end park in a tropical climate like this. This Big Four Park also features bikes for rent, which is perfect since Byron Bay is known for its bike-friendly atmosphere and cycle paths. There's also an on-site cafe and coffee bar, perfect for a little extra caffeine power before heading out for a day of cycling. As beautiful as the park is, it's surrounded by spectacular scenery. During our interview at the Byron Bay Blues Fest yesterday, our friend Russell Mills of the legendary Pacific Coast offered to show us the sights. He's surely qualified, as he lives right nearby and interrupted a morning surfing session to show us around. The vast scenery is only rivaled by the incredible number of boaters, divers, kayakers, surfers, and swimmers taking advantage of it all. Connecting with a local is a great way to experience just about any place you've never been before. And as promised, Russell took us up to a very special and beautiful spot. Well, we're here again with Russell Mills at the Cape Byron Lighthouse in Cape Byron, New South Wales, Australia, on the easternmost point of mainland Australia. Russell, we had a great time at the Blues Fest yesterday. We did. And uh, thanks for bringing us up here to this incredible well, spectacular spot. See, it's not really an injustice or too much hard work on my part. It's not a big sacrifice? No, not a big sacrifice. Now you live right in this area, right? I do, yeah. Fortunately, this is a great place to live and work, so promoting this part of the world is, uh, is what I do. Great. Well, we can see why. It's fantastic. And we'll show some scenes of what's around us so that people can see exactly what it looks like here. It's magnificent, and we're thrilled to be here. Now, after we uh, spoke yesterday at the Blues Festival, we did a little bit of looking into some things you suggested, and we have uh, been keeping our trip very open because when we get somewhere that we really love, we want to be able to stay there longer, and if there's some place we want to move through more quickly, we don't want to have fixed plans. Right. So we're going to go with that theme, and we've decided that we're going to head south toward Uruguay National Park this evening. Good choice. Yeah, Uruguay National Park is one of the, um, uh, the special spots between here and Coffs Harbour that's worth stopping if, at the very least for a lunch stop in the views of the, um, the Angari Point headland, another great surf spot uh, such as this one. But you've also got um, this wonderful coastal walk that you can do um, all the way to Coffs Harbour if you like. We understand there's also a lot of kangaroos there. Yeah, you'll see some wildlife. Um, this is a really rugged part of the coastline so nature really does, uh, 
does have its sway there. After we leave the National Park, our next plan is to go to Port Macquarie. Port Macquarie is about halfway between Brisbane and Sydney and it's uh, a perfect uh, perfect stop uh, place for you to stop for a couple of nights, I'd say. Um, it's on the Hastings River. It's a really beachy town. I mean, it's, it's an obvious thing to say, but there's 17 beaches um, from surf beaches to really lovely family-friendly coves and plenty of nature-based walks you can do as well. And one thing I would really recommend you check out there is the Koala Hospital, which is the world's only hospital dedicated to the care and uh, eventual release of koalas that have become sick or injured. So definitely check that out. We saw koalas in the wild on Magnetic Island, uh, not 10 or 15 feet in front of us, and I think uh, seeing how they're cared for would be really interesting. Yeah, unfortunately, you know, they do get um, get uh, hit by cars, and unfortunately, that's um, part of the you know, part of development. But the people that uh, look after them there, the, it's a volunteer-run institution. They're just so passionate about it, and they've made it into an iconic attraction for Port Macquarie, visited by thousands of people each year from around the world. Great. Well, we're really looking forward to the rest of our trip down the legendary Pacific Coast, seeing what's between here and Sydney. And we can't thank you enough for hosting us here in your hometown and showing us the sights. It's really fantastic. That's a pleasure, guys. It's great to have you here. Happy travels. Thanks so much, Russell. We hope to catch up with you again. Cheers, Peter. Take care.